String Input and Output Functions To achieve string input and output, it is difficult to use character input and output functions. For that, C language provides two simple functions named getS and putS. The getS function helps to input a string. The main advantage to use the getS function is that it allows white spaces between the strings. As we discussed earlier, the scanf function does not allow white spaces between the data strings. The function putS is used to show a string which was entered by the user. Here's an example so you can understand this better. In the sample program, ash include that helps to include stdio.h header file. Inside the main function, we declare a variable called address, which can hold 20 characters. Here we show a text message using the printf function. In this line, we perform string input using getS. And the given string will be assigned to the variable address. In the next line, we display another text message, followed by the given string, which will be shown by using the putS function. Now compile the code using Alt F9. When compilation is finished, click on OK. Press Ctrl F9 to run the sample. Here is the output window. Type your address here. When you're finished, press Enter. And here's the output which is displayed with the help of the puts function. Tip. There is no need to specify format string such as %s while using gets and puts functions. So far in this lesson, we have discussed string input and output functions.